In addition to the necessary knowledge and expertise, the production of Tibetan herbal pills or rilbus is a tedious process. From collecting, cleansing, drying and sorting to crushing and compounding is a long, long way. Here, they are taken out and sprayed with ghee or clarified butter to give them a shining surface and a solid coating. Lama Riktsin and his assistant continuously bless the medicine with their prayers. It is a common practice to bless Tibetan medicine by reciting the mantra of the medicine Buddha. Without it, the rilbus would not be so effective. To a Western trained mind, this sounds superstitious at best, and no rational explanation is at hand to account for it, although many people the world over believe in the power of prayer. As the rilbus roll softly from one side of the drying bag to the other, and the prayers interact between realities, the totally dry air of Ladakh dehydrates the pills and makes them solid. Swinging the bags in the bright sunlight has an additional effect. It activates lung or the wind energy in order to make the medicine more active when swallowed. It is interesting to note that in homeopathy, a dilution is also shaken many times to increase its potency. <laughs> 